we're going to go over one of the most common mistakes that I see a lot of beginning golfers make, and it's fundamental, and it's the grip. Focus on the grip on the right hand. It's a very strong grip. And what I mean by that is you can see the thumb on the left hand. Ideally, we want to see this as more of a neutral grip, which means the right hand should be kind of covering that thumb on the left hand where we can't see it. The challenge with a grip like this is it is almost impossible to avoid taking the club very inside very quickly. So you'll see it here. Watch how quickly the club comes in and behind. The right arm's bending. And then we try to deliver the club back to the ball. Same thing here. Focus on that right arm in the club. Inside. And then we try to get it to the ball. So if I get a very strong grip, which means my hand is here and I can see my thumb. If you look at my elbow here, it's canted in already. I can't hold the club any other way. I've taken this hand and I've cranked it under. My elbow is facing that direction and I'm stuck. If I get into a swing, the only thing I can do, because my elbow is cranked under, is this club has to come inside very quickly. It has to come inside and look where that club is. It's, if I swing it, it's going to continue across my path. So instead of it being down the path, because I changed my grip there, when I get that strong grip and my elbow is now locked in here, it has to come inside. I'm doomed right from the start. This is why having a fundamentally good grip is so important. It sets up how your body is going to work on a swing. So when you get... A neutral grip, left hand down, hand on top, thumb just right there on the side. Well, now my elbow, instead of being canted under, now I've created this triangle. And so now, when I take the club away, I can keep this triangle. Turn the shoulders, keep the triangle. But the biggest piece is don't change your grip into something like that to try and hit the ball better or it's like a quick fix. You're just going to set yourself up for a lot more work down the road to fix it. Even if you look at like really good professional golfers and they do something that's kind of different and on their own, well, they practice every day for eight hours a day. Most of us have a job and a family and we just can't do that. So the reality is for most of us mere mortals, the better you are at having good fundamentals that just allow your body to work and don't require you to hit balls for five hours a day to keep your timing correct, the better off you're going to be. And that starts with a grip, a good neutral grip, so you don't have to compensate for all these other things. I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe. And as always, stay on that grind.